The Gig Rig Underliner gives you two extra foot switchable master volume controls for your amps with an effects loop or for your pedal board. Why? Because volume is every guitar player's main problem. When you need to be loud, you need to be loud. But when you need to be quiet, you need to be quiet. But you don't want your tone changing drastically at those different volume levels. Let's say you really love the overdrive tone in your amp. It's the perfect solo tone, and it's exactly why you chose this amp. But when you need to drop back for rhythm, just turning down the volume on your guitar might not have the desired effect. First you lose all your gain, and you actually might not be that much quieter. Using the underliner in your amp's effects loop, you now have two extra foot switchable lower volume levels, up to 21 dB lower. Or think about it in reverse. Use the underliner to set up your quieter tones and switch it out for your louder sounds, keeping your gain character intact. Now, this approach isn't exactly new, and there are other ways to do this. However, the underliner does add functionality that solves the problems that using your effects loop in this way can cause. First up, it's foot switchable, either using the dedicated two button foot switch, the underliner FS, or from any other TRS remote switcher. And that includes G2 or G3, if you happen to have one of those. Side note, if you do use the dedicated foot switch, it will also supply power to the underliner, meaning you don't need a separate nine volt power supply sitting back at the amp. Now, while we're back at the amp, one problem with amps effects loops is they can be hugely variable in terms of level and impedance. For example, you might have noticed a big change in tone when using long cable runs to add effects in the loop. The underliner has its own effects loop that solves those problems, keeping all your signal levels and impedances intact, so you can have your cables as long as you like without any tonal degradation. Okay, questions. Can it work in any effects loop? The underliner has a massive 34 volts of headroom, which is enough for any effects loop we've come across yet. What if my amp doesn't have an effects loop? Using the underliner in the front of the amplifier gives you two attenuated input levels. Or of course, you can use it on your pedal board. For example, use it right at the end of your pedal board for two additional master volume levels and a master buffer. Or use it after your gain stages and put all of your wet effects in the effects loop of the underliner, giving you more consistent drive tones at various levels. Can I use it as an attenuator between my amp's speaker output and the speaker itself? No, the underliner is for instrument and line level signals, not as a speaker attenuator. Can I switch it with MIDI? Of course you can. Can I use it as a speaker attenuator? Didn't we just cover this? No, you can't. What about post phase inverter master volume amplifiers? Absolutely. But for more guidance, read the manual. But can I use it as a speaker attenuator? No. Always the same, just no. There we are, the gig rig underliner. Solution to that age old problem, the tones you love at the volumes you need.